Hi, I've seen a lot of people having issue with the skeletal mesh creating some artifact uh, with virtual shadow map. And I've seen a lot of answer online and um, most of the times they say to just revert back to shadow map. And I wanted to explain a little bit what's why it's happening. And it, the, the solution is actually really, really simple. So this is the one I'm talking about. You see where your shadow would stay behind and do this weird artifact behind. And the reason why this is happening is because your bound are broken. So if you open your physics asset, I broke it here on purpose, the one coming from Mixamo doesn't come, doesn't come broken. So I'm forcing this one and that's why it's happening. If you take a correct physics asset that follow actually the whole character, it will not be cut by the virtual shadow map. So in that case, I reopen my character and here I'm forcing the wrong physics asset. So if I revert back to the correct one and I'll play again, then you will see that the shadow doesn't do that. Again, the reason there is the shadow artifact is because something is being called and then it stay behind. So uh, yeah, so I wanted to give my two cents because I so many people running with that. You do not have to disable virtual shadow map, just look at your bound. And a really easy, easy way to test for that is basically if you go to your skeletal mesh and then you look for bound scale, you can easily test by increasing that a lot, like maybe three or four, and then test if your shadows still have the problem. And if they don't, that means the problem come from your physics asset. Well, I hope this helps a few people out there. Again, check your bound when you see this kind of error.